Hare Krishna. So, we are very curious to know about the activities and service in this wonderful temple. So maybe you will tell us something. <laughs> because uh, such wonderful, such wonderful Radha Madhava deities, Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nisangari, Prahlad Maharaj. So it's very inspiring, very inspiring to see how, how I've heard so many wonderful activities been, so many wonderful activities of devotional service being performed <clears throat> in this temple for the benefit of local people, local conditioned souls who can take advantage of uh, Krishna consciousness by, by studying, reading Bhagavad Gita. Sunday you have, on Sundays, we, you have Bhakti Shastri? Every Sunday? Every Sunday. So that is, this is very good for those who are serious about the knowing Shastra, about the knowing scriptures is very important. <clears throat> so therefore, today we will concentrate on the glories of the holy name, on the chanting of the holy name. And uh, it's especially relevant for this time and age because, uh, because uh, people, usually they don't have time. They very don't have time for anything. Even when they go to job, they're so busy that they hardly catch up with their schedules and tasks uh, they meant to do. And what to speak about spiritual life, it's highly neglected and usually people don't have much of a concept of spirituality. So the chanting of the Holy Name is the real solution in this age of Kali. We know this famous shloka, Harir Nama, Harir Nama, Harir Nama, Iva Kivalam, Kalubanasti, Iva Nasti, Iva Nasti, Iva Nasti, Iva Nasti, that in this age, ah, Kali Yug. And there is no other way, no other method, no other way than chanting of the Holy Name. So just to increase our faith, our determination uh, to chant the holy name of the Lord, it's good, it's essential to know the, the knowledge, the philosophy behind that. And if I would ask for, uh, what, maybe, we can try harmonium. Yeah. What's the picture? Yeah, I'll sit next. Yeah.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 
राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Mahamantra K. Pai, prašau iš jos muzikinį instrumentą. Tarduok man Miridanga. Kaip? Gerai, gerai. Miridanga duok. Well, sing now Jai Radha Madhava just to invoke auspiciousness. And ta galbūt aš čia panaudosiu kaip stalo paskai jo. Jeigu paprašyčiau dar tas knygas, man paduok, prašau. Čia tuo dengčiau uždeng, šitos mane reiks. Šitos mane reiks. Ir mano elektroninė knyga. Pagrosi dar su karatelais. Džiradha mandava kundžabihari Džiradha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Gopi Jana Vallava Girvara Dhari Kapi jana vallabha girvara dhare Yashoda nandana vraja jana ranjana Yashoda nandana vraja jana ranjana Tiravana Chari Jamuna Tiravana Chari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Jaya Radha Mahdava Kunjabi Hare Gopi Jana Vallabha Girvara Dhare Jana Vallabha Girvara Dhare Yashoda Nandana Braja Jana Ranjana Yashoda Nandana Braja Jana Ranjana Jamunachiravana Chari Jamunachiravana Chari Jaya 
Jaya Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Shri Radhe Jaya Shila Prabhupada Jaya Shila Prabhupada Shila Prabhupada Jaya Shila Prabhupada Radha Madhava K, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu K, Shri Shri Pralad Nisingh K, Shri La Prabhupada K, Pantrachi Madhava Bhagavad Gita K, Gaura Premanande. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So tonight uh, we are reading from Bhagavad Gita as it is from the 12th chapter Devotional Service A couple of shlokas Six and seven. You can see yes here, and we can follow. Yeah? Yetu sarvani karmani Mayi sanyasya mat paraha Ananyi naiva yogena Mam jayanta upasate Desham aham samudharta Mrityu samsara sagarat Bhavami na chirat partha Maya vishita chetasam Yetu sarvani karmani Mai sanyasya mat paraha Ananyi naiva yogena Mam jayanta upasate Desham aham samudharta Mrityu samsara sagarat Bhavami na chirat partha Maya avishita chetasam Please. Maya sanyasya mat Ananya Neva Yogena Mam Jayanta Pasata Tishamaham Samudarta Mirjusam Sarasagarat Bhavamina Chirat Partha Maya Vishita Chita Sam, please. Yetu Sarvani Karmani. Yetu Sarvani Karmani. Mai Sanyasa Matparaha. Mai Sanyasa Matparaha. Ananyeva Naiva Yogena. Ananyeva Naiva Yogena. Mam Dhyanyan Tavapasate. Mam Dhyanyan Tavapasate. Tesha Maham Samudharta. Shamaham Samudarta, Rithu Samsara Sagarat, Rithu Samsara Sagarat, Bavami na Chirat Parda, Bavami na Chirat Parda, Mayi Aveshita Chetasam, Yetu Sarvani Karmani, Yetu Sarvani Karmani, Mayi Sanyasya Mat Paraha, Mayi Sanyasya Mat Paraha. 
Anani va nai va yogena. Anani va yogena. Mam dia diyanta upasate. Mam diyanta upasate. Te shama ham samudharta. Te shama ham samudharta. Mrityu sam sara sagarat. Mrityu sam sara sagarat. Bhavami na chirat partha. Bhavami na chirat partha. Mai avishita chetasam. Mai avishita chetasam. Yetu sarvani karmani. Mai sanyasyamat paraha. Mai sanyasyamat paraha. Ananya naiva yogena. Mam dhyayanta upasate. Tishama ham samudhartha. Mrityu samsara sagarat. Bhavami na chirat partha. Maya vishita chetasam. Praise Prabhu. Yetu sarvani karmani Mai sanyasa syamat paraha Ananye naiva yogena Maam dhyayanta upasate Tesha maham samudharta Mrityu samsara sagarat Bhavami na chirat partha, mai aveshita chetasam. Thank you. Ye, those who, to, but, sarvani, all, karmani, activities, mai, unto me, sanyasya, Giving up, mat paraha, being attached to me, ananyena, without division, eva, certainly, yogena, by practice of such bhakti yoga, mam, upon me, jayanta, meditating, upasate. Worship. Te sham of them. Aham, I. Samudharta, the deliverer. Mrityu, of death. Samsara, in material existence. Sagarat, from the ocean. Bhavami, I become. Na, not. Chirat, after a long time, Partha, O son of Pritta, Mayi, upon me, Avishita, fixed, Chetasam, of those whose minds. Translation and purport of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada Ki. But those who worship me, giving up all their activities unto me and being devoted to me without deviation, engaged in devotional service and always meditating upon me, having fixed their minds upon me, O son of Pritta, for them I am the swift deliverer from the ocean of birth and death. Perfect. It is explicitly stated here that the devotees who are very fortunate to be delivered from the, to be delivered very soon from material existence by the Lord, in pure devotional service one comes to the realization that God is great and that the individual soul is subordinate to Him. His duty is to render service to the Lord, and if He does not, then He will render service to Maya. As stated before, the Supreme Lord can be appreciated only 
by devotional service, therefore, one should be fully devoted. One should fix his mind fully on Krishna in order to achieve him. One should work only for Krishna. It does not matter in what kind of work one engages, but that work should be done only for Krishna. That is the standard of devotional service. So the devotee does not desire any achievement other than pleasing the Supreme Personality of Godhead. His life's mission is to please Krishna and he can sacrifice everything for Krishna's satisfaction, just as Arjuna did in the battle of Kurukshetra. The process is very simple. One can devote himself in his occupation and engage at the same time in chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Such transcendental chanting attracts the devotee to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This Supreme Lord herein promises that without delay he will deliver a pure devotee thus engaged from the ocean of material existence. Those who are advanced in yoga practice can willfully transfer the soul to whatever planet they like by yoga process. And others take the opportunity in various ways. But as far as the devotee is concerned, it is clearly stated here that the Lord himself takes him. The devotee does not need to wait to become very experienced in order to transfer himself to the spiritual sky. In the Varaha Purana, this verse appears. Nayami paramam sthanam archir adi gatim vina Garuda skandam arupya yadhechum anivaritah. The purport of this verse is that a devotee does not need to practice Ashtanga Yoga in order to transfer his soul to the spiritual planets. The responsibility is taken by the Supreme Lord Himself. He clearly states here that He Himself becomes a del the deliverer. A child is completely cared for by his parents and thus his position is secure. Similarly, a devotee does not need to render the to, to endeavor to transfer himself by yoga practice to other planets. Rather, the Supreme Lord, by his great mercy, comes at once riding on his bird carrier Garuda and at once delivers the devotee from material existence. Although a man who has fallen in the ocean may struggle very hard and may be very expert in swimming, he cannot save himself. But if someone comes and picks him up from the water, then he is easily rescued. Similarly, the Lord picks up the devotee from this material existence. One simply has to practice the easy process of Krishna consciousness and fully engage himself in devotional service. Any intelligent man should always prefer the process of devotional service to all other paths. In the Narayanya, there is, uh, this is confirmed as follows by Shloka. Yavai sadhana sampati purushartha chatushtaye the purpose of this verse is that one should not engage in different processes of fruitive activity or cultivate knowledge by the mental speculative process. One who is devoted to the Supreme Personality can attain all the benefits derived from other yogic processes, speculation, rituals, sacrifices, charities, etc. That is the specific benediction of devotional service. So simply by chanting the holy name of Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, a devotee of the Lord can approach the supreme destination easily and happily. 
but this de destination cannot be approached by any other process of religion. The conclusion of Bhagavad Gita is stated in the 18th chapter. Sarvan Sarvat Dharman Prityaja Mam Ekam Shranam Vraja Aham Tvam Sarva Papebhyo Moksha Shemi Ma Shucha One should give up all other processes of self-realization and simply execute devotional service in Krishna consciousness. That will enable one to reach the highest perfection of life. There is no need for one to consider the sinful actions of his past life because the Supreme Lord fully takes charge of him. Therefore, one should not fatally try to deliver himself in spiritual realization. Let everyone take shelter of the Supreme Omnipotent Godhead Krishna. That is the highest perfection of life. Yetu sarvani karmani mai sanyasya mat praha ananye naiva yogena mam dhyayanta opasate tesham aham samudharta mrityu samsara sagarat bhavamina chirat partha mai avishta chetasam. Lord Krishna says to Arjuna, but those who worship me giving up all the activities unto me and being devoted to me without deviation, engaged in devotional service and always meditating upon me, having fixed their minds upon me, O son of Britta, for them I am the swift deliverer from the ocean of birth and death. Hmm. Om Agyan Timirandas Yogyananjana Shalakaya Chakshuran Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manobishtam Stapita Mena Bhutale Svayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Svapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapadakamalam Shri Guru Nvaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahganaragunatan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Prijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Hadevam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanvitam Shcha Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopi Shya Gopi Kakanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radha Vrindavanishwari Vrishabhanu Sata Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Behevacha Patitanam Pavanibhya Vaishnavibhya Namanamaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shivasad Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Shishi Radha Madhava Ke Shishi Pralad Nisinga Ke Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ke Shila Prabhupada Ke Sama Veda Bhakta Vrinda Ke All glories to assembled devotees. So here we have amazing purport of His Divine Grace Sri Bhaktivedanta Swami Shila Prabhupada where He a few times Ah, stresses, points out the chanting of a Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Uh, you can judge how book is good from how many times Krishna's names are being mentioned. So this, although seemingly uh, elaborate purpose, uh, is surcharged couple of times by Śrīla Prabhupāda mentioning full Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Hmm. Interesting to mention here that uh, Śrīla Prabhupāda gives here uh, an example of a conditioned soul groaning 
himself in the ocean, vast ocean of material existence. In connection to that, there is very, uh, very sweet, very sweet story of Lord Ramachandra uh, being in exile, traveling with his beloved Sita. And the story uh, illustrates this example nicely. Uh, I think, I believe, that here in this temple in Silicon Valley, you elaborately celebrated the just recently Ram Navami festival. Was it on the particular day or you did it or you shifted to weekend? On Tuesday. On Tuesday. You, you celebrated the actual day. So how was the participation? It was full or more? It was fully full. Fully over the full. Over the top. Yes, because because uh, the uh, personality of God, and Lord Ramachandra, amazingly, I'm just every year uh, thinking for myself how amazing and uh, personality was Lord Ramachandra that for two million years his his appearance birthday is being celebrated and uh, we just were in New York and celebrated with Russian devotees Ram Navami in our small way not like in wonderful temple with the amazing deities but in our small way in Namahata and I was asking them uh, any one of you, can you suggest someone else whose birthday is being celebrated for, for, okay, not two million years, for one million year. Okay, 400,000 years, for 1,000 years, for 100 years. Because uh, conditioned soul, uh, what is mentioned, today, samsara, going through the circle of birth and death. Actually, conditioned soul goes through suffering again and again and again from one life to another. And the one who doesn't devote, devote himself to the service in order to please the personality of God it, is eternally uh, condition, nitya badha. But we see here that the pious devotees, the transcendentally minded personalities, they enthusiastically celebrate the days of appearance of <coughs> different incarnations of Supreme Personality of Godhead. Yes, just today during the lunch, I uh, showed the Kumarji, uh, he told us how uh, Janmashtami is being celebrated here. Huh? The temple becomes like really a public place, like with the flows of the uh, devoted minded uh, Vaishnavas. The street is overpacked by cars and the uh, Vaishnavas are coming to the temple to express their devotion, loyalty, uh, attraction to their lordships, Sri Shirada Madhava. So, back to the story. Once when Lord Ramachandra was in exile and was traveling with his uh, beloved wife Sita, once they came across the river, and they had to cross the river in order to continue their, their trip. And uh, they were looking for the boatman. And they, after some time, they called the boatman who came, came to their side and they boarded the boat and asked the boatman to bring them across the river. 
while being rowed by the boatman, the Lord Ramachandra asked Sita, Dear Sita, how we will repay the boatman for his service? And Sita, Sita said, Sita Ji said, I, I have a uh, pearl necklace which we can give as a payment for the boatman. And when they reached the other side, other bank of the river, Lord Ramachandra offered the payment for the boatman to what the boatman replied. He said, we in this area, all the boatmans have an agreement that we don't charge each other. So, dear Lord, my dear beloved Lord Ramachandra, I'm not going to charge you, and please, you can continue your tour. Lord Ramachandra was very greatly surprised, thinking, Ah, oh, yes, but I'm not a boatman. And please accept our payment, because I am not a boatman. You have a, an agreement amongst the professionals, yeah? amongst the professionals, boatmen, amongst you. But I'm just an ordinary passenger at this time. So please, please kindly accept our humble uh, gratitude in the form of this humble payment. So the boatman said, Dear Lord, please don't trick me. I have just one humble request, and which is that now I just brought across you, across the river, just, it's a very insignificant uh, effort which I performed service to you. But, my dear Lord, at the time of death, when I will need to cross the vast ocean of material existence, which we read today about. Please, dear Lord, by remembering my service to you, please bring me across the ocean of material existence and bring me to your abode, eternal abode, where I could uh, participate in eternal pastimes of yours. So, this is the attitude of a, of a Vaishnava. This is an attitude of a devotee. Yes? Always be dependent on the mercy of the Lord. So, this attitude can be developed by devotional service. And today, because we we plan, we plan to speak about the glories of the chanting of the holy name, we picked up few essential sweet nectarian uh, shlokas uh, glorifying the chanting of the holy name. In Padyavari 29, there is wonderful shloka saying that the holy name of Lord Krishna is an attractive feature for many saintly people for liberal saintly people. And it is the annihilator of all sinful reactions. The holy name of the Lord, Krishna, is annihilator of all sinful reactions and is so powerful that save for the dumb who cannot chant it, it is readily available to everyone, including the lowest type of man, even Chandala. So the holy name of Krishna is the controller of the opulence of liberation. And it's identical with Krishna himself. Simply by touching the holy name with one's tongue, simply by touching the holy name of Lord Krishna with one's tongue, immediate effects are produced. 
Chanting the holy name does not depend on initiation, pious activities, or the regulated principles generally observed before initiation, Purascharya. The holy name does not wait for all these activities because it's self-sufficient. So this verse from Padyavadi renders a nice summary of the transcendental qualities of the holy name is that the holy name is extremely attractive even to the saintly persons. Why? Because it bestows the supreme spiritual bliss. Second, the holy name destroys all sinful reactions. None of us have the power to destroy the reactions. Holy name of the Lord does that. The holy name of Lord Krishna is available to everyone regardless caste, education, age, and so on. So we see that throughout the all globe, uh, regardless nationality, regardless age, regardless language, regardless religious background, is as, were, as is predicted in every town and village, the holy names of the Lord are being chanted. I have one question. Huh? Sometimes. Are you doing uh, Harinams? Yes? In, in which part? San Francisco? Downtown. Yeah? Downtown. Okay. Alert. So how regularly you do that? Once a month. Once a month. Wonderful. Sorry? Once a week? In San Francisco too? Not. Okay. In Berkeley? Palo Alto. Okay. The holy name of Lord Krishna easily awards liberation. The holy name of Lord Krishna is identical with Krishna and thus completely transcendental and thus a completely transcendental person. The holy name of the Lord immediately shows effect when chanted. The holy name of Lord Krishna does not depend on external observances. The holy name of, of Lord Krishna does not de depend on time, place, and circumstances. The holy name is self-sufficient, unlike any other process for spiritual elevation, and thus the chanting of Krishna's holy name is the topmost activity for the living entity. So Srila Sanan Goswami, by examining the difference between meditating of the, on the Lord and chanting his holy name, comes to the same conclusion. that the remembrance of Vishnu certainly cuts sense to pieces, but to attain perfection through this process is very difficult. However, simply by moving the lips, there is kirtan of the holy name of Lord Krishna. And therefore, the chanting of the holy names is the topmost process of devotional service. The holy name is self-sufficient and worship of Krishna is solely dependent on the chanting process as emphasized by Srila Haridas Thakur. Agachit smaranam vishnur bhagva ayasena sadyate ustha spandana matrena kirtanastu tatovaram In Vedagda Madhava, there is wonderful shloka glorifying Krishna's names. I do not know how much nectar the two syllables Krishna have produced. When the holy name of Krishna is chanted, it appears to dance within the mouth. 
when then we then desire many many mouths when that name enters the holes of the year ears we desire many millions of ears in addition when the holy name dances in the courtyard of the heart it conquers the activities of the mind and therefore all the senses become inert a devotee on that level of transcendental realizations will never abandon the chanting of Krishna's holy names no matter in which calamities he may fall when the story follows of Nawab Hussein Shah who wanted to stop Haridas Thakur from chanting by threatening him with death sentence the Thakur Haridas Thakur fearlessly said Kanda Kanda Hai Deha Yadi Joy Pran Tabu Ami Vadani Nachadi Harinam Even if you cut my body into pieces I will never give up chanting the holy name So we want to end with the one shloka from Adi Purana actually my one of the most favorite shlokas so nicely glorifying the uh, chanting of the holy name and inspiring any Vaishnava devotee to chant the holy name with double, triple, quadruple attention because we know that inattentive chanting of the holy name is the source of all offenses so those shlokas worth meditating before chanting the holy name of the Lord give so much inspiration and determination to chant the holy name of the Lord to chant in the attentive way so that a devotee could dive into the nectar of the uh, pastimes of the Lord so this shloka says nanam sadrisham gyanam nanam sadrisham vratam nanam sadrisham dhyanam nanam sadrisham palam nanam sadrishas tyago nanam sadrishas samaha nanam sadrisham punyam nanam sadrishigatti namaiva parama muktir namaiva parama gatti Namaiva Parama Shantir, Namaiva Parama Stitti, Namaiva Parama Bhaktir, Namaiva Parama Matti, Namaiva Parama Prittir, Namaiva Parama Smrittir, Namaiva Karanam Jantor, Namaiva Prabhur Evacha, Namaiva Paramardham, Namaiva Paramo Guru. There is no vow like chanting the holy name. There is more, there is no higher, stronger vow than the vow to chant the holy name of the Lord regularly. There is no knowledge superior to chanting the holy name of the Lord. No meditation which comes anywhere near the holy name of the Lord. And it gives the highest result. The chanting of the holy name of the Lord gives the highest result. No penances is equal to chanting of the holy name of the Lord. And nothing, nothing is as potent or powerful as the holy name. Chanting is the greatest act of piety and the supreme refuge. Even the words of the Vedas do not possess sufficient power to describe the magnitude of the chanting of the holy name of the Lord. There is mentioned about the highest result of the 
uh, chanting the holy name of the Lord. So what is this result which uh, is granted, being granted by the chanting the holy name of the Lord? Pure love. Sorry. Yes, prem. Yeah? And what other, what other result a devotee achieves by the chanting of the holy name of the Lord? Very simple. I just answered. You have to repeat it. By chanting the holy name of the Lord, what other result devotee gets? Desire to chant the holy name of the Lord. Yes. It's like endless taste. Because if you eat some, something delicious, how much you can eat? But it doesn't uh, apply to the holy name of the Lord. You cannot overeat the holy name of the Lord. You cannot overchant. Yes? Prabhuji, what happened to you? Oh, today I overchanted. So how much was that? Oh, 17 rounds. <laughs> yes, it's impossible. If you chant attentively, seriously, with full determination, the holy name of the Lord, you would never want to stop it. It's only because we chant the holy name of the Lord only as, as a matter of duty. Yes, we, we gave our promise to our spiritual master. We want to please Srila Prabhupada. So out of duty, we somehow manage to, throughout the day, somehow chant 16 rounds. But if we would regularly chant holy name of the Lord, Hare Krishna Mahamantra, 16 rounds, right after Mangalarati, Oh, you would see what the bliss is that. Then you will think, why, why, oh why, the deity greeting is coming so soon. Why I can't continue chanting on my beads. So, those devotees who sometimes uh, during some special events, like devotees in Moscow, under the guidance of His Holiness Bhaktiananta Krishna Maharaj, a Russian devotee, sannyasi, who for more than 10 years already celebrates every Akadashi overnight with quite some devotee group who joined him. And they have a full night of full transcendental bliss, fun in Krishna consciousness. Having classes, having a bhajan, having a cultural program. All night through, they rent a hall or they gather themselves in the temple, depending how many people subscribe to that particular Kaddishi celebration, and all night through they celebrate. They don't suffer, they celebrate, they enjoy. And Maharaj, before that, he, was, he had been chanted his japa uh, all night through. 120 rounds, 120 something rounds. Yes? And already for, for, for over 10 years. And it happened, he's a very good friend of mine, and I can see that, you know, I asked him, Maharaj, why are you still walking on the ground? You have to be flying already. And he is flying by his spirit. He is flying. He is extremely enthusiastic. I would think, oh my God. For three days he don't sleep. Day before, night before Kadashi, he chants all night through. Then uh, the Kadashi, then they celebrate the Kadashi night. 
and the next day he is all active. And amazing, sometimes 200, sometimes 100 devotees and, and Krishna friends join him. Sometimes they rent a ship uh, in the Moscow River and once I joined them on that, on that celebration and all night through they, we were celebrating on the ship while going one way and on the halfway we, we went on the bank we were, what is called these, there are some like paper mache uh, Chinese nice lamps with you lit, lit a candle and it flies away. So devotees were putting those lights in the, in the sky chanting, Hari Bull, Hari Krishna. And then boarded the, back, the, the boat back and we reached our port something like at 5, 6 in the morning. So all night through we had classes concerts, uh, performances, and you didn't notice how, how night flies by. More than that, uh, they organize a wonderful <clears throat> festivals which are called Goloka Fest, where they rent even stadiums, like in, in Moscow they have Olympic Stadium called Lozhniki, and devotee uh, rented uh, one part of it, uh, part of a hall which can, can facilitate 5,000 people. I, was, I saw here that on top of the door it's written the maximum participation 261? 216. 16. Okay, 216. So the devotees in Moscow rented the hall which is um, maximum uh, facilitation 5,000. So they were able to uh, invite 2,000 people to celebrate the Saturday afternoon for, yeah, maybe almost eight hours also. Chanting, having performances and cultural program is including the symphony orchestra which uh, uh, played during the kirtan for the devotees. Mm. The Maharaj was leading on harmonium and, and symphony orchestra, classical symphony orchestra, was backing up with their music. So Maharaj was telling me that when, when they were uh, 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 trained, uh, uh, tra uh, how, how it said, before the actual concert, what they do? Rehearsing, rehearsing. yeah, rehearsing. So uh, the chief of the orchestra was saying that uh, you have to play particular melody for so much time, then you change the melody and play it for another so much time, then you change back. And Maharaj said, I never was doing that because every time I play it's spontaneous which melody I pick up and, and, and it flows and here you have, to, you have to model your ecstasy or inspiration now ecstasy yellow, then blue, then red, then back to yellow so he said I can't do that I, am, I, I play some spontaneous and if I will be carried away with some melody I will forget which melody I have to come back again after some time. And I am not counting this melody three times, this melody four times, this melody three times back. He said, I can't do that. So the chief of the uh, orchestra said, Maestro, approach, appealing to Maharaj, Maestro, uh, please, please don't refuse our help and service. We want to play with you, we want to play with you. And someone, devotees, told to the chief of the orchestra, he's not maestro, he's Maharaj. So this, this person said, Maestro Maharaj, Maestro Maharaj, please, please don't refuse to take, include us in your concert. 
we will adjust you play okay you just play whatever you want whenever you want we will try to adjust to your melodies and to your ecstasies so you know can you imagine a public program with 2,000 people with 2,000 people and it was just uh, in last December something like Christmas time 2,000 people in the kirtan and they put a deity in, fr uh, in the middle of the hall and it was Giriraj, the uh, Bhakti Ananta Krishna Maharaja's personal deity. And they put in the front and 2,000 people were running around doing parikramas. He said, seven time, you run seven times around the Giriraj and it will be counted as you did a 25 kilometer parikrama around the Govardhan Hill. Oh, everyone got into the taste, running like mad in ecstasy and joy just to make a parikrama around the Govardhan Hill. So, and of course, the devotees, they, they established uh, and broke one record, Guinness, Guinness record of the biggest ever vegetarian cake it was 1200 kilos cake over one ton so I'm I don't know in pounds but it's uh, maybe a video scan help us uh, 1300 kilos of cake how much in pounds Double, yeah? 2.2. So, this is it. Have you ever seen such a cake? No. Yeah? But they approached the experts of Guinness, and the Guinness, Guinness uh, team came to confirm. So, they were present in the program. And they were present in the program, and they were waiting the, the, the cake because the arrangement was made so that it would be waited and noted down that. Yes. So before the program, they consulted with the experts of, from Guinness record book, uh, what record we could break. So they said, ordinary normal cake you will not break because it's already established and it's several, several tons of it. But there is no category of vegetarian cake. So this you can take it. So they were just baked. Uh, 1,300 kilos cake and after the program it was distributed to all the participants. Everyone could have a piece of cake. So can you imagine? Amazing programs, amazing uh, successful uh, preaching programs with the elements of culture for the, for the general populace. Because when people enter the program, like a public hall, they've been greeted with the flower petals, each and every one of them. I don't know in, 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 in San Francisco area, in San Jose or Mountain View, do you have some programs where you've been, have you been greeted ever in public program, concert, I don't know, with the flower petals? And when ordinary people come to this program, they've been shocked. They were never been greeted so warmly. Like, you know, coming to the heaven. And young people, you know, they, when they enter into the hall, uh, everyone should be barefoot. Uh, they, they are asked to take the shoes off because it's clean and carpeted and... and They've been asked. So they are shocked when they see that someone takes their shoes, clean their shoes, devotees, and put onto the shelf. So they, why are you cleaning my shoes? Oh, it's my service, Prabhu. And, and people are uh, shocked, you know. Some, they've been greeted with their flower petals, their shoes been cleaned. What's next? <laughs> Then they take a phone and call someone, their friends. Hey, look, 
Oh, it's amazing. Please come immediately. It's, it's just heaven. Because, you know, there is no such uh, dealing amongst the people in, in, in public programs. Nobody has been greeted. Have, have ever you've uh, visited someone's home or some public place where your shoe has been cleaned for you? No asking. Free of charge. <laughs> you would just happily do that. <laughs> And then there is one part of a program when they have been uh, taught to cook. Prashad. So in some corner of the hall, there is a small fireplace, and there is a table, and there is a piece of dough where a person comes, takes a, a piece of dough, and rolls a, a, a round Puri. Then there is boiling uh, ghee. He throws it there. He is just surprised how it pops up. You know, he's never saw see that such a magic. You know, you put a flat dough and it's just took becomes like perfectly round ball. Okay, then he takes, puts on the plate. He's been given by the devotees a piece of paper with mantras for offering prashad to deities. He walks to, to the deities, takes a piece of paper and Namo Brahmanya Divaya Go Brahmana Ditaya Chaja Gaditaya Krishnaya Govindaya Namo Namaha. Okay, then he's been allowed to join the friends and enjoy prashad. What happened next? He runs back to the queue, stands in the queue, and uh, bakes another puri, again runs to the deities, again offers it, again. For a few times, people enjoy that small, simple pastime of making, cooking yourself prashad, offering prashad yourself, and enjoying with your friends, prashad right at the spot. So it's like, you know, for a devotee, for every devotee, what's a big deal? But a person who comes first time, you know, to the program, he's been excited, super excited. He's been greeted with flower plateaus, his shoes been cleaned, and he learns to cook prashad. My God, it's just another life begins for him. And it's simple. It's the question, how nicely you present it. That's it. So then, the people who come first time to this program, they agree to chant Hare Krishna, they agree to dance in the kirtan, they agree to, prefer, to perform uh, uh, Govardhan Parikrama, anything. You just ask them. Anything. Because why? Their hearts being conquered by devotees' service. Devotees who conquered their false ego a long time ago already. So they, they don't have problem to clean someone's shoes. No problem. Okay, I have another question. If you would ask an American person, can you clean my shoes? Well, I don't know, maybe he will. <laughs> I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm just guessing. So, this is what is all about, the qualities, yes? And these qualities, best qualities of demigods, develops naturally in the character of a devotee, who voluntarily chants the holy name of the Lord. And this is the uh, primal cause for that. So just see, chanting of the holy name of the Lord is the highest path to liberation, peace, and eternal life. Chanting of the holy name of the Lord is the pinnacle of devotion. 
and the heart's joyous proclivity and attraction and the best form of remembrance of Supreme Lord. What better, what more effective way of remembering the Lord if not by chanting His holy name? When you remember your family, you call your family by names. Huh? It's the most personal approach. It's the most personal approach. So the holy name has appeared solely for the benefit of the living entities as their Lord and Master. Their supreme worshipable object and their spiritual guide and mentor. So, as we see, that the holy name uh, consistent from two syllables, Krishna, it has so much nectar in there. It, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to measure. A devotee prays to the Lord. If, because this holy name of the Lord, Krishna, produces so much nectar, I am so miserable that I have just one mouth to taste it. I, why? Lord Brahma created me with just one tongue. As gopis, you remember, they blamed Lord Brahma for what? Yes! Why he is so imperfect, couldn't create the eyes which don't blink and interfere with my darshan? of the Lord. Do we have such eagerness? Well, to tell frankly, maybe not really, although we should. But only because we don't experience such nectar. Why? Because most probably we would need to be more serious, more serious about what is essential in my life. So, when the holy name of the Lord enters the ears, we desire many millions of years, so that to drink, drink the kirtan, drink the holy name of the Lord through my ears. The nectar is so wonderful. And I have just two ears and one tongue. And it's so miserable that only that much. So once, once Rupa Goswami was chanting the holy name of the Lord on the banks of Shyamakund, right next to Radhakund. And he was enjoying in his meditation the pastimes of Lord Krishna, Radha and Krishna. He was enjoying, relishing in his meditation the pastimes of Shishi Radha Madhava so much. And he was with closed eyes and he was in bliss and he was smiling. But meantime, what Vaishnava devotee was passing by? And that devotee was a lamb, yeah? He couldn't walk easily and properly. And passing by, he saw how uh, Rupa Goswami is smiling. And he, he thought, oh, he's smiling at me, only because I am an invalid person. He is smiling at me. And he got offended. Although, Rupa Goswami, he, he just was with closed eyes, uh, enjoying the pastimes of the Lord in his meditation. And immediately, immediately, the meditation of Rupa Goswami was checked. All the bliss disappeared, and he couldn't anymore contemplate the pastimes of the Lord. And he thought, what happened? What happened? Alas, what happened? What did, what did I did wrong? 
And he approached his brother, Sanan Goswami. He approached Sanan Goswami with a humble request. He said, my dear brother, please explain. Just of a sudden, I lost my object of my worship. Shishi Radha Krishna. And couldn't enjoy any more their pastimes. So being very elevated and experienced devotee Sanan Goswami, he advised, he disclosed the truth to Rupa Goswami, saying that, my dear brother, most probably you performed some Vaishnava aparad, you offended some Vaishnava. And Lord Krishna never tolerates that. But Rupa Goswami said, so what? I am most condemned person. I don't know whom I offended, whom I should ask for forgiveness. How will I find out whom I offended? I am finished. My spiritual life is finished. That's it. I am condemned, most condemned person. Sanan Goswami said, look, my dear brother, please announce all over Radhakund that you at a particular auspicious day, cooking the feast for all the Vaishnavas in that area and inviting everyone to enjoy Prashad. And when you will see that somebody didn't came, you know that he is the one whom you offended. Oh, that, that sounds Fantastic plan. Like I thought myself, I don't know how many Vaishnavas I knowingly or knowingly offended. How should I find out them? Especially when you travel all over few continents. So what a feast should I cook? And how many oh, devotees Yes. How many devotees should I invite just to find out who, is, who feels offended by me? So Sanan Goswami, he suggested this plan to, to Rupa Goswami and he did that. He did that. He uh, arranged for the Prashad for a big feast and he invited all the Vaishnavas. And yes, exactly, exactly as it was uh, suggested by Sanan Goswami, one Vaishnava, that one lamb person, he didn't came, he didn't attend it. Immediately Rupa Goswami ran to find him. He fell at the lotus feet of, feet of that Vaishnava. He pleaded for forgiveness, uh, explaining that if he committed the offense knowingly, he asked for forgiveness. And only that, only then, when he was forgiven, and when that person, that Vaishnava, he joined the feast, and only then Lord Krishna was pleased with the uh, attitude, with the mood of Rupa Goswami, showing that how much seriously he is, his attitude is towards the devotional service. And it shows how important is so that we would be so serious about the uh, chanting of the holy name of the Lord. In 11th chapter, in 11th canto of Bhagavatam, in 3rd chapter, there is a 30th shloka saying, Parasparanu kattanam pavanam bhagavat yasha mitto ratir mitastushtir nivritir mitta atmanaha. A devotee, ha everyone has to learn how to associate, how to deal with uh, devotees of the Vaishnavas, of the, of the Lord. Uh, 
coming with them together in order to chant the holy name of the Lord. Because the process is supremely uh, purifying, because as soon as devotees develop the loving relationships amongst themselves, they feel the happiness and satisfaction. So this way, inspiring each other, they are able to uh, experience unlimited satisfaction and giving up all the undesired, unwanted things in their life which are actually the a cause of their suffering. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mahamantra ki. Srila Prabhupada ki. Bhagavad Gita ki. Gaura Primarandi. Dear Vaishnava devotees, maybe you have some questions? Yes, Prabhu. Nandas Pranam Prabhuji. Thank you. Actually, the point which you mentioned that if we chant attentively, we will uh, not feel like stopping at all. That really struck me. So I was wondering if you can share some suggestions on how to chant attentively. Yes, just, just today. I, am, uh, I was listening for one lecture where it was a very nice uh, example given that actually what devotees are praying for. They're praying when you come to the temple. What you are praying the Lord for. Usually a pure-hearted devotee, he prays for the devotional service. For more devotional service and for more devotional service. And from the external outer point of view, it's like a hardship. You are praying for the hardship. Please, Lord, engage me 24 hours a day, 360 whatever days a year, seven days a week. So it's like, you know, it sounds like, my goodness, so when you will sleep, when you will eat, yes? Because people in this world, what do they want? They want enjoyment, they want money, they want possessions, yes? And they want, you know, relaxation, free time, uh, you know, entertainment. But devotees, they, they pray and ask, Dear Lord, can you engage me harder, more, more and more. So from the material point of view, it's not logical, you know. Not logical. If you, if you, if you come to your job place and you ask, can you give me more job, more tasks? Oh, it's, can you give me it more and every day? And you come to your boss and say, oh, give me a load of work. More, more. But this is what devotees ask for. Why? Because they are in full bliss. The devotional service absorbs their minds. And this way, you, me, devotees, Vaishnavas, allow their senses to be controlled by the Lord. And by chanting the holy name of the Lord, what, what I was... Uh, meaning to what I was going to tell about the example of Bhakti Ananta Krishna Maharaj that he chants so many rounds and some devotees also give wow to chant 64 rounds Akadashi time or Janmashtami or some Gaura Purinima time to chant extra rounds and if you will try maybe you have but if you do that seriously attentively without no distraction, you will, you will see that only after 16 rounds of japa, the peace of mind slowly comes. Then, all the next 16, next 16, 
next 16, it gives you immense bliss. So, you know, someone may tell you how tasteful is the cake, but if you never try, you will not know. You may smell it, it's like 16 rounds, you smell it, that the nectar is there, but as soon as your mind becomes calming down, you give it, you, you finish it saying, oh, 16 rounds, today I'm done. So, that's why it's very auspicious, it's very beneficial to, little by little, increase the standards of your devotional service. Today I was told by Yashoda Kumar Prabhu that also the worship standards in the temple is also little by little, step by step, being increased. So it's always also good to start from, if we chant 16 rounds, to work out the quality of our chanting. Yes. Because if we extend our 16 rounds throughout the day, one round there, one round there, one round then, one round then, the Maya steals away all your enthusiasm. Do you want me to show how Maya steals the enthusiasm? Look. thumbs are down, yeah? The thumbs are down, yeah? And then you have to do it very quickly, very quickly. Up. <laughs> What's the problem? Where is the problem? <laughs> yeah, you have, you don't have to give up. Don't give up. So Maya just tricks us in every step. In every step, it tricks us. Because, you know, little hardship and we give up. It's not fear. So, and Krishna blesses his devotee if he sees how serious he is. Rupa Goswami. Yeah? He, he, uh, no, he didn't even offend someone. He was smiling in his bliss. He was smiling in his bliss experiencing the uh, meditation, blissful meditation of the pastimes of the Lord. But someone took offense of that. But he was so serious because he was so sensitive, as we should be. We should be so sensitive and serious about the quality of our chanting. What it means, we have to be very, very serious about the quality of the content of our heart. What's going on there? How many material desires do I have? It's like a contamination. All of you came here with nice, clean dress. Yeah? None of you came with, with a dirty dress. Why? Because you don't tolerate any spot on your cloth, yeah? If it happens, you know, some ghee, sabji, dal, whatever, drops. You, you change your dress, you, you immediately wash it, just to get rid of the spot. But when our character is all spotted through with different desires, our heart, yeah? It's just spotted with different, you know, oh, whatever is that? Karma, Krodha, uh, Krama, Krodha, Loba, Krishna speaks to Arjuna. Yes, it's three gates to hell. If we will check the uh, characters of the people, we would see that, oh, Karma, Krodha, Loba is prominent in the society. So this is what we have to be serious about not only to wear 
spotless, clean cloth, but also work out so that our character would be spotless, clean. Huh? That my, my motivation to please Srila Prabhupada, to please the uh, His Grace Vaisheshika Prabhu, huh? to please their lordships. This is where, where the real uh, hardship starts. No lob, no calm, no crud. Then Krishna helps you and blesses you and grants you the taste. If we don't experience the taste for the chanting, Rupa Goswami immediately alarmed, put an alarm in his life. Yeah? Oh, I'm not experiencing the bliss anymore. Tragedy. I'm, I'm, I'm starving. I'm, I'm dying. Immediately he looked for a uh, solution. So same thing when, when a person gets sick. We go to the doctor. Or you call for the doctor at home. Yeah? And when the doctor comes at home and you are on bed, And you don't like the doctor, and you say, no, I will not let me, not let to be cured by this old doctor. His head is bald. I need was, uh, was he. doctor was here. Or whatever, whatever. Yeah? So, same thing that we have to have a doctor, spiritual doctor, spiritual master. And if I don't feel a taste for the chanting of the Holy Name, I have to do something about that. Not to be a parrot, a frog, just repeating my mistakes again and again. No, I need to be cured, and it's an alarm situation. So, sincerity, and Krishna in uh, 16th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, the very first three shlokas speaks about that. Yes, he speaks about the transcendental qualities which elevates the conditioned soul to the transcendental platform. Yes, we were reading the last few days in the public programs about that. That fearlessness, purification, cultivation of spiritual knowledge, charity, self-control, performance and sacrifice, study of the Vedas, austerity, simplicity, non-violence, truthfulness, freedom from anger, renunciation, tranquility, aversion of fault-finding, compassion for all living entities, freedom from covetousness, gentleness, modesty, steady determination, vigor, forgiveness, fortitude, cleanliness, freedom from envy and from passion for honor, these transcendental qualities belong to godly men endowed with divine nature. The best cure is association. Associate with those who are serious about the chanting of the Holy Name. If there is opportunity, join this yagya of the chanting of the holy name of the Lord. Join, have association of those who are so enthusiastic and keen about the chanting of the holy name of the Lord. And inherit the taste for the holy name of the Lord from them. Those who experience the taste, inherit the taste from them. This is the way. Some more question we have a couple of minutes. Okay, so thank you very much for your kind attention, for the opportunity to have your association and RTS. Thank you. Hare Krishna.